नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम वेलकम टू टूडेज लेक्चर ऑन एडवांस ट्रांजिशन मेटल ऑर्गेनोमेटलिक केमिस्ट्री this lecture we are going to talk about an interest as interesting aspect of transition metal alene and enyl complexes that we have been discussing about in the last few lectures these alene and enyl ligands are very interesting type of ligands in the subclasses of various ligands that exist for transition metal organometallic complexes the their uniqueness of arise primarily for their sigma donor as well as pi acceptor behavior so unlike the very simple alkyl or hydride donor which is or methyl donor methyl ligand which are simple sigma donor ligand or like olefins these allyl and enyl ligands can have both sigma donor and pi acceptor properties from that perspective we have looked into in the beginning of the course looked into various kind of interactions that occurs between the molecular orbitals of transition metal as well as that of the allyl and enyl ligand and tried to understand how the interaction of sigma donation and pi acceptor uh, uh, kind of interaction originated from the overlap of these Uh, molecular orbitals or atomic orbitals of transition metals and the enyl or allyl ligands we have also looked in the last lecture about different methods that are available in preparing the transition metal allyl and enyl complexes uh, by and large what we saw there are various preparative methods that are available for preparing this transition metal allyl and enyl complexes all of them can be classified into two or three main type of reactions uh, uh, where uh, most of the uh, different uh, examples would uh, uh, belong to however apart from that there are few unique uh, methods and unique strategies uh, uh, which uh, also lead to the formation of transition metal allyl and enyl complexes so in today's lecture we are going to finish up uh, on this topic of transition metal allyl and enyl complexes by looking into the reactivity or the kind of reactions these transition metal allyl and enyl complexes exhibit and then we are going to move on to another uh, interesting topic which are transition metal sandwich complexes now these sandwich complexes actually uh, started uh, with the origin of ferrocene in and then gradually expanded on to various combinations and various type of sandwich complexes we are going to uh, explore those in details as a part of this lecture so to begin with uh, let me just look into some of the reactivity of transition metal allyl complexes Uh, the uh, particular example starts of reacting a uh, diolefin complex of iron resulting in formation of this uh, transition metal allyl complex of iron and then exploring the reactivity of the same 
So the reaction goes as this diolefin complex of iron carbonyl reacting with HBF4 and carbon monoxide giving this allyl complex of iron which is cationic in its nature. Now in, uh, in the context of our earlier uh, methods uh, uh, that existed on preparation of this eta 3 bound allyl uh, um, transition metal complex, this particular method thus is a electrophilic attack, electrophile being the proton on the diolefin uh, complex of the iron. Uh, resulting in a uh, eta 3 bound allyl iron uh, complex in presence of uh, donor ligands like CO and the vacant space that is created as a result of the uh, protonation and as a result of conversion of eta 4 bound diolefin to a eta 3 bound allyl is occupied by then, uh, this carbon monoxide and thus the iron uh, goes from becoming FeCO3 to FeCO4. Overall, uh, this is also a uh, 18 electron complex. This is 4 uh, CO that means 8 electron, iron 8, 16 plus 3 uh, from the allyl 19. Overall, this being a positive charge. So, this is a 18 valence electron uh, complex. So, uh, uh, the reactivity of this complex uh, stems from the reaction of this eta 3 allyl uh, uh, by triphenyl phosphate uh, resulting in the attack of the phosphine moiety onto this olefin uh, with the formation of this uh, uh, olefinic compound and iron tetra carbonyl phosphine the way it is shown over here. So, this reaction is uh, uh, not only uh, limited to triphenyl phosphine, but is uh, generic to a variety uh, of uh, nucleophiles and as a result a uh, large number of compounds can be obtained through this method. So, reacts with variety of nucleophiles to generate intermediate olefin complexes which upon de decomposition leads to respective alkenes. So, oh, this is a interesting example whereby uh, eta 3 bound transition metal compound is formed by electrophilic addition to a dielectric complex and subsequently the reaction of this eta 3 bound uh, uh, iron compound to various nucleophiles like the phosphine occur at this eta 3 bound uh, allyl ligand uh, resulting in the formation of the olefins. So, uh, we would now look at a different reaction in which instead of the uh, uh, nucleophiles attacking a uh, eta 3 bound allyl transition metal allyl complex, we are going to look at uh, electrophile attacking similar eta 3 bound uh, transition metal uh, allyl complex. Now, here there is a certain uh, uh, 
uh, catch uh, in terms of the complex. Uh, even though these are transition metal allyl complex in which in the previous example uh, electrophy, uh, nucleophile uh, attack was considered whereas the example which I am going to uh, talk about is also an ether 3 bound transition metal compound uh, but here an electrophile attack uh, would occur. So uh, one I must note that uh, in the beginning I must note in the beginning that uh, these ether 3 bound transition metal compound however are different uh, uh, in these two cases. For example, in the former where a nucleophilic attack happened on the eta 3 bound transition metal compound, it was cationic in nature and in the present case where a electrophilic attack would occur onto another transition metal uh, eta 3 bound allyl complex, this complex would be uh, as expected anionic in nature to facilitate the electrophilic attack. So uh, let us uh, take a, uh, a look at the specific example that involves electrophilic attack at central metal atom and is again governed by the formation of eta 3 bound uh, transition metal allyl complex as is shown here from Fe CO5 plus allyl iodide in presence of sodium amalgam giving this eta 3 allyl iron tricarbonyl anion which can then reacts with isopropyl bromide in THF at 0 degree centigrade resulting in this eta 3 bound iron isopropyl moiety and CO3. So to note over here the electrophil is this isopropyl cation that is attacking on this eta 3 bound allyl iron tricarbonyl anion. Then subsequently in presence of light and in acetonitrile at 0 degree centigrade CO insertion occur along with the formation of uh, uh, this uh, ketone. This is an interesting alpha beta unsaturated compound and uh, is a useful precursor for many synthons uh, uh, in organic synthesis. So uh, the take home message is the electrophilic attack at central atom followed by CO insertion and release of ketone so what we see that in this particular reactivity that one can generate ketone by CO migratory insertion uh, and that in the preceding step one uh, can undergo a electrophilic attack onto a uh, eta 3 bound transition metal allyl anion and which subsequently can also be generated by the reaction of iron uh, pentacarbonyl with allyl iodide. So uh, let us take a look at this allyl radical and C4H4 or uh, particularly with respect to their molecular uh, orbital as that will uh, explain some of the uh, reactivity issues uh, that we are uh, uh, discussing. So molecular orbitals of C3H3 dot 
and C4H4. So, one can see for C3H3 dot, there will be three uh, pi type, P type, pi type orbitals and there will be a three MOs uh, resulting from three AOs which are psi 1, psi 2 and psi 3. In our earlier discussion, we have uh, mm, uh, discussed in details the various molecular orbital combinations that uh, are formed for this allele uh, radical. Now, allele radical has three electrons, so psi 1 is paired and populated, psi 2 is uh, unpaired uh, single electron. So, it has a radical nature and this is the highest occupied molecular orbital or HOMO. Thus, the reactivity of C3H3 dot radical is very much dependent on this unpaired electron available at the psi 2 orbital. Now, the psi 2 molecular orbital would uh, resemble or would look like this. Now, in the same context, let us look at how the molecular orbital of C4H4 would be like. So, C4H4 would also have 4 pi orbitals and then it would have 4 MOs which was which will go from psi 1 to psi 4. and each of these would have two electrons so in this case the highest occupied molecular orbital is paired up and it is occup uh, occupied by two electrons of opposite spin now if we look at the molecular orbital diagram of psi 2 of the HOMO that would resemble something like this. So, so oh, these two uh, uh, molecular orbital clearly depicts the reason for extremely high reactivity of allele or enyl kind of uh, ligands because these ligands allele or enyl kind of ligands have odd numbered of carbon uh, uh, atoms and these are unsaturated compounds and also by the fa because of the fact that in the neutral form their HOMO uh, just contains a uh, one single electron which makes these uh, uh, ligands 
uh, very reactive in their neutral form, particularly owing to their radical nature uh, and hence uh, this further highlights the importance or uh, challenges uh, that are associated with their stabilization as well as uh, their isolation and also you know, sort of highlights the importance of uh, uh, their uh, stability being achieved through complexation with transition metals leading to their uh, uh, isolation. So with that uh, I would uh, uh, finish off this uh, discussion on transition metal allyl complexes uh, and then move on to another uh, very interesting topic which are the sandwich uh, complexes. As the name suggests that uh, these sandwich complexes uh, are uh, uh, complexes of cyclopentadienyl or other ligands of transition metals, uh, uh, cyclic ligands of transition metals and uh, these are uh, mainly a, a homolyptic or heteroleptic uh, complexes of transition metals and transition metal is bound to the CP or the other cyclopentadienyl or cyclohexadienyl octatrienyl uh, uh, rings uh, through pi electron. Now I must say that the curiosity on these uh, kind of complexes, sandwich complexes sort of originates from that of the studies with respect to ferrocene where uh, two cyclopentadienyl ring was found bound to iron and it aroused a tremendous interest in 1950s and 60s particularly from the standpoint of understanding the nature of bonding that exists between uh, transition metal and the cyclopentadienyl ring. Now one uh, uh, of the unique uh, feature uh, about the cyclopentadienyl um, interaction with transition metal is the fact that CP ligand interacts with transition metal through uh, the pi electron cloud and that what led people to uh, try to rationalize and understand such interaction because it was mainly thought that these ligands are very different from simple sigma type ligands that people uh, were used to uh, before and they were not sure as to how p type orbital can engage with uh, transition metal in a sigma type fashion. So having said that uh, uh, a lot of research uh, went into studying and understanding uh, sandwich complexes and what turned out at the end that sandwich complexes are not, uh, are not limited to or restricted to only ferrocenes or metallocenes of uh, various com uh, combinations of uh, homoleptic or uh, heteroleptic uh, uh, transition metal uh, by aryl kind of complexes are known there having different uh, steric uh, as well as electronic demands. So to illustrate this example uh, I am going to present uh, uh, to you uh, various kind of sandwich complexes and their total valence electron count just to give you a feel for as to uh, what kind of different varieties uh, they exist uh, upon. For example, this CP titanium cyclooctatetraene. So uh, this is 5 electron, 4 electron, 8 electron, overall 17 valence electron species. The next comes Cp chromium cycloheptatriene. Now this is 5 electron, 6 electron, 7 electron, overall 18 electron. The next one is Cp manganese benzene. So 
फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन रिजल्टिंग इन एट इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पीसीज देन कम्स फेरोसिन फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन आयरन सो दिस इज फाइव एट इलेक्ट्रॉन फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन ओवरऑल एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन वी ऑल्सो हैव दिस सी पी कोबल्ट साइक्लोब्यूटाइन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन नाइन इलेक्ट्रॉन फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन ओवरऑल अ एटीन बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉम्पाउंड लास्ट वन इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन विच इज सी पे निकेल साइक्लोप्रोपीन सो दिस इज फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन ओवरऑल एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पीशीज सो वन कैन सी दैट देर इज विद द सी पी रिमेन्स द सेम देर इज अ स्टेडी इंक्रीज इन इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी एट द मेडल एंड सिमिलरली देर इज अ स्टेडी डिक्रीज इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी एट द अदर साइक्लिक लिगेंड ऑफ द सैंडविच कॉम्प्लेक्स हाई एवर सच दैट द ओवरऑल बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ दिस कॉम्पाउंड रिमेन्स द एटीन द फैक्ट दैट दिस कॉम्पाउंड एज एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स Uh, means that they are kind of stable compounds and that they are at least electronically saturated and because of the presence of two uh, uh, planar uh, cp or other cyclic uh, uh, ligands uh, the metal is kind of uh, shielded from both ends and hence uh, that also imparts the stability to these transition metal sandwich complexes so what comes to the fore is the fact that uh sandwich complexes are uh, not just uh, the ones which are restricted to the central ferrocene uh, uh, atom uh, from where uh, the the interest sort of uh, arose but one can see that it expands in both the direction in terms of diversity uh, not only and the ligand but also at the metal center so with this uh, i will uh, conclude uh, this particular uh, discussion uh in this uh, lecture fourth lecture uh, in particular we have been uh, looking at two interesting aspects of transition metal uh, compounds particularly in the reactivity of eta 3 bound transition metal allyl complexes in which uh, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, these compounds uh, transition metal allyl compounds can be uh, reacting with electrophile as well as nucleophile and as a result they can be uh, used to produce uh, olefins or ketones uh, because of their reactivity we have also looked into the property of uh, their neutral compound being extremely reactive as compared to the uh, c4h4 uh, or the even number uh, uh, compound uh, carbon containing unsaturated compound the reason being the allyl or enol moiety containing unsaturated odd number of carbon atoms Uh, are radical in nature uh, with their homo containing an unpaired electron which results in their uh, tremendous reactivity in the next uh, the second half of our discussion we have initiated a new topic which are sandwich complexes and in that particular uh, aspect what we saw that those sandwich complexes has its genesis from ferrocene or b cyclopentadiene uh, cp complexes but it it uh, sort of diversified into various kinds of combinations of various cps and other type of cyclic uh, uh, ligands uh, and also uh, it has huge amount of versatility or diversity arising from uh, uh, the various kinds of transition metal that can form uh, the sandwich complex so with this i would like to conclude today's lecture and we are going to take up the sandwich complex in much more detail in the next lecture looking into various forms of sandwich complexes are there what are their diversity what are their classifications uh, how they are prepared and what are the interesting aspects or characteristics associated uh, with the sandwich compounds so with that uh, uh, i once again thank you for being with me and patiently uh, listening to this lecture uh, on advanced transition metal organometallic chemistry and also uh, uh, look forward to being with you 
in the next lecture uh, which will talk in more details about uh, sandwich complexes. Thank you.